Hey guys, what's going on? Monty LSV6 here. Welcome back again to yet another video of Turbo Tuesdays. So this one is going to be my first experience with Boost. So pretty fun. Uh, this is how it kind of all started with the turbochargers. <laughs> That's going to be a pretty a good video, so to speak. All right. So basically, my first true, real experience with Boost, I guess you could say, um, was damn. This was probably like. I want to say, I want to say at least, oh, this was when I still had the Monte Carlo. Damn, this was probably like six, seven years ago, I think. Um, probably back in like 09 or 010, maybe 11. Anyway, so it was a long time ago. So my buddy, he just gotten a uh, 90, I think it was a 97, I want to say. It was like a 97, 98 uh, Honda Civic uh, Coupe two-door. And it was a EX or one of the DX series, whatever. But his motor was the D16Y8 uh, series motors. Um, and I believe that is a non VTEC motor. Um, if it is, just go and correct me down below in the comments because I have no idea about Honda motors. <laughs> so please correct me. And uh, uh, point aside, when he first got the car, I was kind of like telling him all about like, the performance parts and stuff. Uh, Cause Hondas are fucking so cheap to modify, it's ridiculous. Uh, cheap and so easy. I mean, you open up the hood and there's just the engine and all the parts. I mean, super easy to work on. Anyways, um, so I was telling him about the parts and um, so we ended up ordering an intake and exhaust. I ordered them for them, for him. And um, one of the lines I was just kind of telling him about, as he was learning on his own too, of course. And uh, I was telling him like, hey man, you should break up a turbo kit or something. Or he brought it up, whatever. And uh, so, uh, you know, soon enough, I actually ended up ordering a T3 slash T4 turbo kit hybrid for him. Uh, so I guess it's a T3 compressor with a T4 uh, turbine wheel, I guess. I don't know. It was, on e it was an eBay purchase that I purchased for him. It was like five, 550, I think. But um, eBay is not a brand. It's a website where you sell parts, okay? So just because it's an eBay turbo, it doesn't make any sense because eBay sells that turbo, but it's not an eBay turbo. Just making that point clear because a lot of people are like, oh, well, he bought an eBay turbo, you know, it's gonna blow and it's shitty because it's an eBay turbo. No, eBay is not a brand, it's a website where they sell cheap parts. So anyways, I ordered the T3, T4 turbo hybrid for him uh, with all the parts and uh, accessories that are included, the lines, the adapters, the turbo, of course. Um, which I didn't really know too much about turbos at the time. I mean, I knew enough, but uh, it wasn't like I didn't know what I know now about turbos because I now have a turbocharged car. And uh, so I ordered it for him. He got it in. And uh, so I was one of the ones that helped him install it. And long story short, after he got it tuned uh, by some company over around the Chicagoland area, <laughs> Uh, so I was taking Gauger, that's one of the roads we have out here, and I was taking Gauger home. Uh, I think it was coming back from school or just kind of running the auto zone or something. And uh, I see him like go past me. So we wave at each other and uh, I pull in the school, um, the school area with the parking lot, of course. So I pull in there and um, I'm I call him and he comes back and he just tells me he got a tune and he's got an Apexi controller and uh, all that other stuff. So I'm like, damn, this is pretty sick. This is pretty awesome. You know, so on and so forth. And uh, so he takes me for a ride, right? And uh, man, I remember it clear as day. So I'm sitting shotgun and he's driving and he's telling me about it. And I see the boost gauge going and his Apexi controller. And um, I'm like, damn, this is, this is pretty cool. And so what he does is he, he's like, check this out. And he downshifts it, right? But you know when you downshift it, you rev match it, of course, and you just take off. Well, he didn't do that. He just fucking downshifted, and full throttle, like right away, not even rev matching it. So you're just so you're just sitting there, like, oh, that's pretty cool, and it's just like, whoop, and you're like, holy shit, because like, if you ever felt boost before, or it was your first time feeling boost, um, you'll never forget it, because it's quite a feeling. It's like, it's like you know when you're on a roller coaster. Kind of the way I can describe it is if you're on a roller coaster and uh you're you know climbing up the hill and you get to the top and you look down and then you just kind of go you just get released and it just goes way down that that feeling like that pressure that you get in your chest area right here 
it's kind of similar to that, but uh, if you have someone that's got a turbocharged car and you never had felt boost before, or even supercharged, um, sit shotgun with him and have him floor it. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. And uh, so I'm just like that. That was my first time feeling boost. And um, so I was sitting in the passenger seat and he downshifts and floors it right away. He doesn't even rough match it. And uh, so I'm like all the way in the back seat pretty much. And then like I feel the pressure. I'm like, holy shit. And then so after a while he, he lets off and he starts calming down. And I'm like, dude, that was fucking awesome. Oh my God. So I loved it. That's when I fell in love with boost. And um, needless to say, when I went in my car afterwards, I was like, shit, this thing is slow as molasses. It was um, it was a 2002 Monte Carlo LS. And um, soon after his Civic, he uh, with a T3, T4, I don't know how much power it was making. I don't know how much boost it was either. I don't really remember what he said. But uh, soon after that, he picked up a, uh, a Dodge Neon SR T4. And he modified that, put, dropped in the big turbo. And um, he had the compressor housing powder coated blue which is pretty sick even though you can't see it because it's stuffed in between the motor and the firewall um, and he, he gave me a ride in that thing a few times and he was flooring it and uh, yeah it's it's something when you when you experience boost like that it, it's crazy but uh, that was my first time experiencing boost and ever since then it's it's a thrill it's an addiction um, my buddy who has a thousand horsepower WS6 I want to take a ride in his car so bad because it's a thousand horsepower and like when you feel a boost for the first time it, it better be a slow a slow boosted car in other words um, because as you work your way up to faster boosted cars that pressure is just gonna get more and more intense and my car is almost making 300 to the wheels the front wheels and I'm boost I'm pushing uh, 24 pounds max on my little turbo and um, like sometimes I'll feel it myself when you're driving. Sometimes you'll feel it, but when you when you drive that car every day and you and you daily drive it, you're not you don't really feel it that much. Um, so, like sometimes if I haven't gotten on it in like forever, and then uh, you know all of a sudden I go to E30, my E85 mix, or uh, you know put on a new tune that hits all the power top end, uh, you could feel it driving. Like you'd be driving all of a sudden you you floor it all of a sudden you feel that power in your chest, and uh, so that's that's always so fun to do. Um, especially when you're riding shotgun and uh, so my buddy Alex from legit street cars uh, he has a thousand horsepower WS6 uh, unfortunately it's in the garage right now um, with some bad news and uh, I'm hoping one day to take a stroll out there so I can give you guys an update on his car uh, just to see what's going on um, hopefully sometime soon I know it's the winter and now he's got plans for it but I'll leave that for him I'll leave him to tell you guys that uh, what's going on uh, hopefully we can um, hopefully I can see him soon about that but anyways I want him to take me for riding that thing so Alex if you're watching man take me out for riding that thing in the summer when you have it all done I'm um, really looking forward to that <laughs> you, you're gonna see my expression it's probably gonna be like a holy shit and um, I don't know if anything could top that unless it's like a 1200 horsepower uh, you know car but uh, yeah so that, that was that's pretty much it that's pretty much my first time with boost um, and it's been an addiction ever since to kind of get more boost out of the car and uh, it's it's just a, a crazy thing to kind of feel for boost be it uh, a supercharger or a turbo I mean superchargers they're more linear so as soon as you hit the floor the power is there instantaneously um, turbos they had to have a bit more time to spool up to give you that boost but sometimes the power will just hit you either right away uh, if it's a small turbo like mine then the focus sts or if it's a huge turbo like in like an 80 mil or something like that you see on the supras uh when you floor it it takes a few seconds to spool up and um it hits you all top end so if you guys have an experience like that with boost for your first time or something even cooler please drop it down below in the comments i'd love to see it love to hear about it if you make a video, tag me on Twitter. Um, I would really appreciate it. I'd like to see other people's perspective on their first time with Boost. So uh, let me know down below, please, guys. Uh, go ahead and like this video. And if you're new, uh, new video a viewer, <laughs> please hit that subscribe button. And uh, please hit me up on Twitter and uh, Instagram. I'm very sociable, a very cool guy. And if you see me in person, just say, hey, what's up? I'll be uh, saying hey to you guys, too. 
So once again, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the story. And um, also, when I post, I post on Instagram about the Turbo Tuesday video. So if you have any turbo related questions, answer, put them down in the comments below so I can answer them in the next video and you guys can be in the next video. Or, um, you know, I'll post a, a picture of it on, I'll post something up on Instagram and Twitter and just retweet it with the question or uh, comment down below on the Instagram for the question and you'll be featured in the next video. All right, guys. So once again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Monty Ellis, V6, out. Oh.